everyone. Welcome to my TikTok. This is Erica Courtney. I have a news story coming to you today out of Huntsville. Okay, Huntsville, Alabama. Huntsville Police Department has identified the woman found dead inside a van outside police headquarters on Thursday morning. Christina Nance, the woman you see in the photograph here, was 29 years old and she was found after an officer walking by noticed her body inside an old unused van at around 9.15 in the morning. There are still a lot more questions than answers in this case and Huntsville police say the van that Christina Nance was found in was no longer in use, but it was parked in the police headquarters parking lot and had HPD decal stickers. We also do not know the manner of Nance's death, but HPD says the coroner's initial assessment showed no signs or no visible signs of trauma or foul play. Nancy's family spoke with uh, News 19 on Sunday saying that they were looking for answers and asking for an autopsy to determine the cause of her death. HPD said the autopsy will be performed this week at the Department of Forensic Sciences in Huntsville. The official cause of death will be determined pending the completion of the autopsy and toxicology reports, which could take several months. Her family is quoted as saying, Actually, her cousin by the name of Frank Matthews states, her spirit will not rest and her spirit in her hearts and minds and souls will not rest as well until we have some kind of understanding. According to HPD, they found Nance while an officer was walking to his car, which was parked next to the van. News 19 has learned from Madison County Jail View records that Nance was arrested for multiple nonviolent offenses from 2013 to 20. Uh, to 2021. The majority of her arrests were for disorderly conduct, and records show her most recent arrest was in March for criminal trespass. Following one case, Nance filed to have her court costs waived due to income, stating her only income came from disability payments. Family members said that Nance was very loved, and they are completely heartbroken by the loss. There needs to be some answers out there, guys, and just because she was disabled doesn't mean she does not deserve to have fair treatment. We need to get down to the bottom of what happened to this young lady. I've read several comments on other websites stating that, oh, maybe she was homeless or she went inside of this police van to smoke crack or, you know, just really weird racist things like that. Just basically stupid things, guys. But once again, I mean, let's get to the let's get to the bottom of this and find out what happened to this young lady. From looking at her, I don't see what anybody is saying about her as far as being homeless. But homelessness does have many faces. So if you have any information, leave your comment, guys. OK, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Erica Courtney. Stay tuned for the next video. What the fuck up, world? This gonna be fun. I told y'all October was gonna be wild. Shay Shay. Uh, that is that, that I've been living for 35 years. Never, ever, 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 ever have I even heard of somebody even being found on the police grounds. I didn't heard of people running away from the police grounds, but found on the police grounds. And then we talking about dead. Dead. In the van. In the van. And once again, we got these mystery ass shit. Like, nobody knows what the fuck happened. We got another KJ Johnson around this motherfucker. Oh, she just was in the van. What the fuck? Nobody don't know how long she been in there. Whatever, whatever. And uh, I don't know. That's crazy. That's crazy. They say she was disabled. So I don't know. Ain't no telling how long she was missing or who reported her missing. or Even if she was reported missing. That's crazy as fuck. Fuck you find a dead body in a police van on police grounds. And you don't know nothing. Yeah, I'ma need to talk to the mayor, the sheriff. I'ma see I'ma need to see a year worth of fucking tapes on that van, let alone like y'all y'all can't let that. I wanna see how they gonna sweep this under the rug. If they sweep this under the rug, I wanna see. Cause if they sweep this under the rug, then goddamn it, they gooder than they they just they just good. I'm talking about the powers to be, they just gooder than the motherfucker. Or 
this could be a fake story to get us all riled up and get us emotional. Me, I'm not emotional about it. I'm looking at it like, this is very interesting. I want to see what comes out of this. But, like I said, I'm not trying to say the world, man. I watch Grand Rising.